Hey y'all, it's Nikki. I'm back. Let me apologize ahead of time. I'm a little under the weather, so don't mind if I sound a little coarse here and there, but I just had to get some of these reviews out for y'all. So let me get started. Today I'm going to be reviewing Zuri Sis. It's part of the Dream Collection Free Shift, and the name is Coney. She looks like I have the color Sombre RT 2730. Same color the model has on. Very pretty. And this is what the back looks like. So basically, the free shift is basically like the freedom part wigs where you could just shift the wig to the left or right or leave it in the center. And there's the hair will still be even and there's no um, ear taps to make you uncomfortable. So um, the construction has two combs right here, the comb in the back and adjustable straps. And the cap size is very stretchy, so I think you should be okay with whatever size head you have. And um, the texture is a natural yakky texture. It's not too coarse and it's not really silky. So it's very nice. The color blended is very, very nice. It's, it's dark rooted mostly throughout. Like, unless you're going to wear it up or something, I think you should be fine. So, get close up for y'all there. And um, there's a few layers here and there. But, um, I didn't do nothing to it really. I just took it out and put it on. I, um, leave a clip of how it looked straight out the pack. But all I did was really just run my fingers through it a little bit. And it's a nice little messy curl pattern type deal. Like that messy look. But I like it. It's really, really, really nice. It's a good natural length and a good natural density. It's like a... It's a good everyday wig, and it's very good for beginners too because you could just throw it on and go pretty much. The parting space, this is what it looks like. Um, in my opinion, if I had more time, I think it could use a little bit of plucking just at the front. But um, I didn't even do that. I just put my pattern on it. I think you could get away with it. But um, like I said, there's no less to cut, so there's a slight line of demarcation, but I really don't think it's that bad. If you're like really paranoid or something, you could always put some got to be glued like right at the tip and you know hold it down for a little bit to make it stay down and blend more better. Or you could do the V method, you know, there's there's a few options out there if you're paranoid about it. Let me get a little closer so I could see that hopefully. But um, like I said, I think it's it's really not too bad. But um yeah, um I don't know if I mentioned it already, but um it's haven't gotten much shedding, just you know, some strands here and there. But nothing major and um, of course you know it's synthetic so it's gonna tangle eventually but um, nothing major I think it's a nice everyday easy throw on and go wig so um, I gotta tuck behind my ear right now just you know easy little quick look but this is how it looks if you don't want it behind your ear still looks very nice but um, that's about it guys if I left anything out or if you have any questions or comments, you can take this back down. I think it looks a little more nicer that way. But, um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. I'll get back to you. It's very lightweight, too, by the way, guys. So, it's I think it's summer friendly. <laughs> but, um, all right, I'm going to get going. Any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll be seeing you all really, really soon.